Okay, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and I am here with guests of the show. Graham, how are you, sir? Very good. How about the show for this? It's uh, pretty uh, impressive. This is kind of intense, I've got to tell you. It is for me, anyway. It's, uh, it's definitely a nice collection of all different types of skin bumps and all the different looks. So it's always great to see. Well, I've, I've kind of crashed the genre. Yes, yes. <laughs> Everybody ends up doing it something. Yeah, I guess I had to at this point. Right. Talk to us about what you got here. This, well, this is um, incredibly cool. I brought some stuff out of the lab for the show. This is the Edgar Allan Poe Nightmare Piece. This is a work in progress piece that I'm putting in the Bazaar exhibit at the Mark Twain Museum this October. Uh, and basically, it's a rather long and complex story, but basically it holds uh, Poe's brain. And the audio behind it is a uh, 38 minute piece of Poe uh, realizing that his memories of his stories, he actually thinks are his memories of acts that he committed and not stories at all. The oh. more someone listens to it, the more insane he gets. Oh. Uh, so we've, we've got a, uh, a few Poe uh, items around here. And we, this uh, item here. Yes, the, uh, the weather or not. 2.0 uh, is a uh, is a weather control device. It's whether or not it actually works. Uh, it's about 32 pounds. It is actually metal, wood, glass, and uh, it's uh, quite uh, quite to be scary around here, especially in the world of the nerve I would say, yeah, so, especially since it's mostly metal. Right. right. Uh, we've also got uh, Peggy, who is my uh, assistant. Well, my second assistant. We go through with that amount this time. Was a bit this is also a prop for a film that uh, we just finished up that's premiering this October called Steam Driven. And uh, uh, yeah, this is one of, uh, you know, like Dr. Green being an assistant, so uh, we, okay. we enlisted perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. This is yeah. great stuff. Thank you. So uh, you build all your own equipment. I do. I do. You do. We do uh, custom work for individuals. Uh, we do museum uh, exhibitions. We do stuff for hotels, restaurants. Uh, the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas recently purchased two rather large eight-foot telescopes from Dr. Grimm that uh, are all custom built and they sit in the lobby for as long as the building's there. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, we get involved with a couple of different uh, exhibits. The uh, Charles Rivers Museum of Industry is putting on their third annual Steampunk City, a Steam City event. Uh, which Dr. Graham Laboratories is coordinating for them. Uh, we're also working with the Queen Mary out in Long Beach, California. Oh, oh, nice. event. And uh, the, the book, 1000 Steampunk Creation, which was released this a uh, couple of months ago. And it holds 185 artists uh, in all of their beautiful contraptions and fashion. So, so not only do you create your own things, your own wonderful inventions here, but you also serve as a repository for other people and yes, work with others. Uh, I'm an artist liaison, so I do what I do, my uh, steampunk bazaar. Um, you know, I go out and search the internet for, not necessarily the people who are like, you know, at the top of the food chain in the steampunk industry, but I find people who I think their work is absolutely beautiful and they don't necessarily think of themselves as artists, but uh, their work uh, needs to be given its, uh, you know, its credit. So we bring them in and uh, this year's exhibit, for instance, we have 21 artists from around the world uh, that are coming in and they have uh, fashion and contraptions and illustrations and paintings and, you know, it's a, it's a really great group. So, yeah, we we definitely, uh, I, I love to work with artists and find new forms of steampunk and put them out there. Now, when is this exhibition taking place? Um, October 1st through January 15th at the Mark Twain House in Hartford, Connecticut. Okay, cool. And uh, when it opens, I assume you're going to be there. I will be there. We would love to be there. I would love for you to be there. <laughs> Consider ourselves invited. Yes. We'll be there. <laughs> Excellent. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, too. Thank you very much.